Have you ever wondered how many thoughts run through your head every day? Well, it turns out you and I, we have roughly 60,000 thoughts run through the old noggin, which is an amazing thing until you realize that we have the same thoughts each and every day of the week, which is a real problem when our lives aren't where we want them to be. You ever have one of those moments where your life changed in the blink of an eye, changed that thought pattern in the blink of an eye? Have you ever considered that maybe it wasn't a punishment, it was meant to be a wake-up call. In 2005, I was living my life stream. I had opened up my own gym, Pure Energy Wellness. It was like a cheers bar of workout facilities. Everyone knew everyone's name and we all supported one another. And it was amazing until the economy crashed in 2007. One of the first things to go was gym memberships. My future was incredibly uncertain at best. I knew only one thing to do. I was not this business mastermind that decided I'm going to take my 60-hour work week and I'm going to make it 120 hours, which was not good because at home I had this Massively kind wife. I had a two-year-old son, Gunner. And I had my daughter, Kaylee, who at the time was eight. Working 120 hours a week, commuting, trying to get some rest in. I never saw him. Except, I mean, I really, I saw him every once in a while when I would get home late and I'd have the energy to walk over to their bedroom door and maybe watch him sleep for a couple minutes. This was my routine for a year and a half till I had my own personal wake-up call. September 11th, 2008, my 36th birthday. Got home after roughly a 17-hour day, 10 o'clock at night. I opened the door and there was my wife. She asked me to sit on the couch. I should not have been surprised by what came next. She let me know that when I came home from work the next day, that she and the kids would be gone. She also let me know that the house was in foreclosure. She also let me know that one of the cars was about to be repossessed. She also let me know that $57,000 had been charged up on credit cards. But the one that really hit me, she told me, your kids don't know who you are. But by the way, she told me, I did make you your favorite chicken quesadillas for dinner. I don't know where I found the appetite to eat, but I walked into the kitchen. I was about to get the ultimate wake-up call. On the counter, next to the quesadillas wrapped in saran wrap, was the greatest gift I had ever received. It was a card handwritten by my daughter. Happy birthday, Dad. And when I opened it up, she had written down things you like. She observed that her dad loved cookies, Powerade Zero, and the beach. But what really knocked the remaining air out of me was on the right-hand side of the card. Dear Dad, you are the best dad in the world. In her infinite wisdom at eight years old, she knew to write we, representing her and her brother Gunner. We love you so much. Love Kaylee. And you could tell she had taken his hand and scribbled Gunner on the bottom. This card was such a wake-up call. I had been sleeping. I had been sleepwalking through life on what should have mattered more than anything. 
the root of most of the problems of the whole wide world. I was failing and I was failing miserable at being the dad I had been created to be. I fell to my knees and I cried more than I had cried my entire life. Some even call it wailing. And when I was on the ground, I realized I'm in the perfect position to do something I had never done before. I clasped my hands together and I said, God, would you please show me how to be the greatest dad in the world? I don't know how. And I promise, God, if you will do it, I will never turn my back on you ever again. I think about the love in that card and, and all the many things that it did. But what it did more than anything is that love that little girl had showed somebody who thought they were nothing. It made me think I could be somebody else. Kaylee's love had completely, in the darkest of times, rearranged my priorities. And really, when I think about it to this day, that's what love does. It elevates and it rearranges our priorities. We are what we think we are. What are your 60,000 thoughts telling you? This card sent me on this journey. I call it like messianic. Like I said, I'm going to be the greatest dad in the world or I'm going to die trying. What Kaylee thinks I am, I need to become. I read this quote, Martin Luther King Jr. If we don't have something we are willing to die for, our lives aren't worth living. And I knew I was going to become the greatest dad in the world or I was going to die trying. This, this video... The future videos that I plan on doing, they're all about showing you the journey. But what I really want to tell you today is this journey can be summed up by what Og Mandino so wisely spoke when he spoke. I can succeed with love alone. Without love, I will fail even though I possess all of the skills of this so-called world I will greet this day with love in my heart. 2008, I started to greet each day with love in my heart. And the journey it took me on was the most beautiful journey I could have ever imagined. The journey saved the gym. It began to thrive. I was discovered by one of the most famous authors in the entire world. But most importantly, I became what that little girl thought I was, the greatest dad in the world. It's my most favorite accomplishment. My daughter's card was a wake-up call to me. It set me on a path of becoming who I was created to be. And if you're not already on that journey, Please, let this video be the wake-up call for your life. That's why it's being made. Your lives, they'll only change when your thoughts change. And let your thoughts change to this idea. I was meant to become the best version of myself. You were meant to become the best version of yourself. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. I know you probably wonder why the channel is called what it is called. I promise to get to that on the next video. But I just wanted to say and take a moment that there's a little bit of a twist ending here. This video was not my idea. I've been telling my daughter for years that that card saved my life. And it did. And I was asking Kaylee, what are you most passionate about? Question parents should be asking their kids. 
And she says, this journey you've been on just is amazing. And I would like to have my life make a difference, Dad. Do you think telling that story to everyone would make a difference? And I said, absolutely. So she said, Dad, I would love to start a YouTube channel and work on a project with you, which I thought was completely awesome. So the idea behind all of this came from the genius behind that card, my daughter Kaylee. In life, everybody should have a mission. My, my personal mission is to leave everyone I meet better off. So the content that we're going to be putting out, that we're asking you to subscribe to, it has one mission and one mission only. We'd love to raise you up and encourage you to become all you were created to be. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like the content, please hit like and subscribe.